Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I was gonna talk about my shovel that is here. I made this with a PVC pipe and lots of foam and glue. You can kind of see the glue. And of course paint. This is the weapon check from Khan. So I guess I should start from the beginning. So I laid everything out to kind of get an idea and a feel for what my shovel would look like at the end. So I drew out really roughly using reference photos, the handle, and then what the head of the shovel would look like. I had to get my tape measure out so that I could really make sure the dimensions were all pretty similar because I noticed the handle was really crooked when I stood over it. And of course, my cat was always right here. She's always right there. She's so cute, I love her. So the first handle I cut out was horribly crooked, so I just had to completely redo it. And I used my old science notebook to kind of write on it because this paper wasn't anything special to me. together I got my large Eva foam or it's not even Eva foam it's like mats for workout it's really hard to find for some reason at the store but I started cutting that out before I glued anything I would lay it out and make sure I liked how it looked I used an exacto knife and went along the edges to make it more narrow if I had more time I would have tried to sand that side to make it smooth trouble gluing this on so what I did is I had bought some crossbows for a cosplay that I never finished yet 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 I got my exacto knife and I cut this off and I pushed this down inside the PVC pipe there's another piece of foam at the end so that it won't move around too much and then this part is in between here I made a little notch in there and it's hot glued in there because this just, and now it's real sturdy. I can sit there and I can shake it. I mean, I can't hit anyone with it, but you shouldn't be hitting people with your props, so. But, yeah. And this part was much easier to glue on. I just cut out some center pieces here. And the PVC pipe actually goes up to here. Yeah, it goes up to here. And so it's just hot glued in, and of course this is hot glued around the actual PVC pipe. Here's it all laid out after it was glued together, and here's some older pics before I cut my hair. It was like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, so please don't judge. <laughs> Using my exacto knife, I went down the back. Not a very deep cut, and then I kind of pulled so that it would get a curve, and then I filled that with hot glue. And it left a huge mess, but I did clean up right before going to bed. Before you paint foam, you want to use like 50 water, 50 glue, and paint that on it first. That'll keep the foam from absorbing the paint. I also was spray painting some crossbows. Don't worry about those though. That's for a different cosplay. I also wear clothes I don't wear out and about when I paint, just in case I get paint all over them. Also, you haven't noticed by now, I kind of painted the shovel the wrong color. I originally painted it gold, and then quickly realized that that was not the right color. It was supposed to be more of a, like a copper, so I had to repaint it. Also, when painting PVC pipe, I guess I did it too fast, or I'm not really sure how I should have done this, or if I should have painted them before I put them together. Maybe maybe that's what I was missing. Maybe I should have painted it before I put them together, but I didn't, because I'm still new to the whole painting thing. But you can see where the paint would hang to dry, and then of course this paint was extremely annoying. This red paint would get everywhere. I had little fingerprints all through the house. But also, the PVC pipe has like red letters and stuff all over it, 
and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's kind of got a pinkish hue, and that's from those words mixing with the paint. So I guess wash your PVC pipe off the best you can. I don't know. The red letters must be able to come off because they came off with the paint slowly. Ignore the nose ring, I didn't feel like taking it out. That's it. I mean, there's plenty of tutorials all over the internet that you can use, but just do your research. And it wasn't too hard. It took me about three hours to put this together, including all the drawing, cutting out. And honestly, it was the painting that took forever because you have to wait between layers, like between the glue layer and then the actual painting. It takes a few layers. There's still, there's still imperfections, like right here. And then of course, the little red and then of course repainting this part because I I didn't think beforehand I guess anyways thanks for watching like subscribe and even comment maybe give me some tips so that next time I will do this much better or next time I will make my next prop better but thank you bye See, I haven't been in the video. <laughs> See, I haven't been in the video. Willow. <laughs>